Hi, this video will talk all about Aperture Finance, which recently launched on the Terra network. I'll go through conceptually what Aperture is, how it works, and explain the ins and outs of the highly anticipated Delta Neutral strategy that they've constructed. Users can now easily invest in this complex and profitable strategy in just one click. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice, and you should always do your own research. Let's get started. All right, I'm going to quickly go over what Aperture Finance is, just to give a little bit of context. This quote is taken directly from their documentation. Aperture is a cross-chain DeFi investment ecosystem with an app store consisting of basic strategies. What they mean by basic strategies is just the typical yield farming, lending, borrowing of tokens, advanced strategies, and that's the delta neutral strategies and more, and various utility tools. So these things would be like impermanent loss calculators, analytics, trackers, dashboards, those kind of things. And we take care of all your DeFi needs in one place with one click. So they're billing it as a very convenient, very user-friendly, all-encompassing type of platform, which is very ambitious. So I wanna break this down a little bit further. What do they mean by cross-chain? So cross-chain solutions, they're gonna be implementing are, are gonna be using bridging. So some examples of this is being able to swap between tokens and coins on different blockchains very smoothly and also to invest across different blockchains. For example, if I have the ERC20 version of USDC and I want to put that into Anchor, which is on the Terra blockchain, I can't typically do that, but using Aperture Finance, that will be possible in the future. The other thing that they're really marketing is that they are a marketplace for investment strategies. And what that means is they want to, at the end goal, allow for community-driven strategies and developed by the community to become a part of the Aperture Finance platform. And they are starting that with automating the Delta Neutral strategy on the Terra network. The community will be able to develop complex strategies and program them in an automated way to provide for other investors. Um, that's, that's the ultimate goal, but currently their developers are making up strategies and they're starting off with the um, automated Delta Neutral strategy on Terra. All right, I'm just gonna very quickly go through what a Delta Neutral strategy is and then go on and explain it in detail on how it works in Aperture Finance. All right, so what exactly is a Delta Neutral strategy? So in plain and simple terms, it's a strategy that makes money potentially regardless of upward or downward price movement of some underlying asset. And that can be done by having positions that bet on and against the same asset at the same time. So in a delta neutral strategy, there is always some type of asset that I am short on, and that involves shorting an asset, which means betting against it, and this is called the short position. It also involves some sort of long position on the asset, which means that I am betting that the asset goes up in price. So a combination of these two things is inherently fundamental of a delta neutral strategy. All right, so I'm going to talk in detail about the automated Delta Neutral strategy that Aperture Finance has developed. Even though it's automated and users can invest in it in one click, I think it's important to go through what the steps are just so we can understand what benefits Aperture Finance brings to the strategy and also understand how we can monitor the, the strategy. So Aperture Finance is starting out in the Terra network, which utilizes the Mirror protocol and the Anchor protocol. Anchor is just a savings platform for the Terra Network's stablecoin, UST. And the Mirror Protocol is a, a platform where I can buy synthetic assets that mirror real-world assets like stocks. So here in this example, M Square is a tokenized version of the Square stock. So to start off, let's assume that I have 90 UST of initial capital. And as per every Delta Neutral strategy, it needs to be split up in a short position and a long position. So the first step in the long farm position, I'm just gonna go through this real quick, is to just use a third of my initial amount to buy shares uh, of M Square. However much I can buy with 30 UST, that's what I'm gonna buy. And then I'm gonna use the other two thirds of my initial investment and then deposit that into Anchor so that it's earning the 19 or 20% APY on the UST stablecoin. What I get back from that is the AUST receipt token. That just means that I have, it's just proof that I have deposited UST into Anchor. And the value of the AUST token is 60 UST or $60. So I'm gonna first go through the short farm path and then I'll circle back to talk about the long farm. So the next step of the short farm 
is to basically short farm on mirror protocol. So there's an option to what they're calling short farm on the mirror protocol, and that's to first open up a short position on M square using a UST as collateral. My collateral value here is 60 UST, and then I'm able to borrow $30 worth of M square shares. One important term to note is the collateral ratio here. Uh, the collateral ratio here is 200%, and all that means is that the value of my collateral is twice as much as the value of the borrowed shares. And 200% is just kind of an arbitrary safe percentage that Mirror Protocol defaults to. I can increase it to be become even more safe. Okay, so now that I have a short position on, on the M-square stock, I can enter the short form. If I enter the short form and complete the transaction that is that smart contract, what I get back is an M square SLP token. All that means is that I'm holding a token now that serves as proof I have the rights to some trading fees from this M square UST liquidity pool. If I'm holding this token, I'm entitled to trading fees from those liquidity pools. This serves as the profits for my short farm. Also, it's important to keep in mind that if I'm short farming in this way, I am not exposed to impermanent loss. Okay, so that is the short farm position. At this point in the strategy, this is a pure delta neutral strategy, meaning I absolutely don't care how the M square shares move in price. If I'm sitting here holding the M square shares and participating in the short farm in this manner, I'll always come out delta neutral. What I'm going to talk about next is the long farm, but that involves some aspect of the short farm. After waiting two weeks of opening the short farm position, Mirror returns to me the UST that I was supposed to get by initially shorting the M square shares. So it returns to me the 30 UST that I would have gone if I sold the M square shares immediately. What I do with that UST is to use that and pair it up with the long position. And the long position is just the M square shares that I'm holding. Pair that up and deposit the M square and UST into a liquidity pool on TerraSwap. So this total position is now 60 worth 60 UST and I'm providing liquidity for that pair on TerraSwap. And as I do that, I receive back a LP token, which says that I am entitled to some trading fees from that liquidity pool. And so this is the long farm position. Because I have a long farm position and a short farm position, this is delta neutral. Now, depending on how much the asset moves one way or the other, this isn't actually a pure delta neutral strategy because of impermanent loss. So this comes from the long farm. The, if the M square price moves up and I close my long farm position, then I will get back less M square shares than I put in. And because I get back less M square shares, it doesn't necessarily cancel out with this short position that I have. So it's less, I have less M square shares than I borrowed. And then hopefully the trading fees that I got from providing liquidity to this liquidity pool, I can use that to buy some M square shares to repay back my position. So because there's this impermanent loss, dynamic here, this strategy isn't purely delta neutral. But what I'm going to talk about next is how Aperture Finance will automate rebalancing of my rewards in order to keep the position as delta neutral as possible in a way that I couldn't do it manually. So all that I've explained there previously is automated by Aperture. The entire delta neutral mirror anchor spectrum strategy is completely automated. All a user has to do is deposit UST and click a button and that's it. So what else does Aperture Finance do within that strategy that I may not manually be able to do? So the first thing is to auto compound rewards. The strategy gets back mirror tokens from the liquidity pools. And what Aperture Finance would do is automatically sell those mirror tokens to realize them in stable coin and then reinvest it in the short farm and long farm. Also, it automates rebalancing. As I mentioned before, at some point, if the asset goes up in price, the long farm might return back less shares than I actually owe, which messes with the delta neutrality of the position. Aperture will check for that 
and rebalance accordingly so that the position is back to delta neutral. Also, there's an automated liquidation protection. If I've set some collateral ratio for the assets that I've borrowed, so let's say the collateral ratio was 200%, but the underlying asset moves up in price, that changes the actual collateral ratio of the position in an unfavorable way such that I could get liquidated. So what happens there is that Aperture will detect that as well and rebalance accordingly so that it brings the collateral ratio back up. And finally, all of this automation is done by what they're calling a controller, and that's done every five minutes if certain conditions are met. So if the delta neutrality is off by X percent, then it's gonna rebalance. If the collateral ratio I want is off by X percent, then it's going to rebalance. And so this is how Aperture Finance can automate things that I would not be able to do manually. Now that I got all the conceptual things out of the way, I'm going to walk through the Aperture website just to detail how investing in some of these delta neutral strategies work step by step, and then point out a couple of things on the, the UI and what those things mean. So currently I'm on the invest page and currently the total value locked on Aperture is $60 million. Aperture Invest Plus is the section where all the complex automated strategies will be. And so currently the Delta Neutral strategies are located here. You can see this is for M Apple, this is for M Airbnb, etc. And then there's a section down here that is for Aperture Invest, which is the regular invest section where you can yield farm, invest into Anchor Protocol, lend, borrow, stake, those, those type of things. And so I want to just break down this strategy right here real quick the total value locked is about four million dollars and this apr is what aperture is quoting that i would get in return from investing in this strategy now what i think is really important to understand is what this info button shows in terms of information so i'm going to describe what this apr breakdown means and kind of connect it to the the delta neutral strategy that i've explained previously so here's the breakdown within the first 14 days or the first two weeks when I don't get back the UST that I have should have gotten for opening up the short position, this is the return I will get in those first 14 days. And that is from the collateral APR on Anchor. And that is 14.25%. And, and that's because it is accounting for uh, the allocation, the two-thirds allocation of my initial investment. It, that's why this is not the 19.5% 19, 19 or whatever it is on Anchor right now. And then the other portion of the return comes from the short farm reward on Mir. And so for this pool, it's currently at about 5%. So if you add those together, first 14 days, I'll get back 19.4%. Please keep in mind that I don't mean after 14 days, I get the 19.4% return on investment. That's not what I mean. This is the annualized rate of the return. So what I don't mean is that if I deposit $100, after 14 days, I get back $19.40. That's not what I mean. Once the 14 days are up, I get the UST back from my short position. And then if you remember, I pair that up with my initial long position and provide liquidity into that asset pool. So in this case, I'm providing it to the M Apple UST pool. So there are a few aspects to where this return comes from. The first APR is SPEC APR, which is which stands for Spectrum APR. Spectrum is just the yield optimizer that ekes out a little bit of percentage points from their auto compounding algorithms and optimization algorithms. So that gives me an extra 3%. Then the next APR return is from the mirror token. So once I participate on in the long farm on mirror, they the mirror protocol pays me in mirror tokens as a reward. So that at the current price of mirror, returns 7% in APR. And finally, there's a TerraSwap trade APR, which is the trading fees from the TerraSwap liquidity pool that I am entitled to when providing liquidity. And that is at 3.7%. So if I add these APRs together with the 19.4%, the total APR after 14 days, after creating the long farm position, that is 33.32%. Keep in mind that this APR is dynamic. And how is it dynamic? So the short farm reward will change. The mirror token APR might change, and this is highly dependent on the price of the mirror token. Similarly, this APR is subject to the liquidity pool dynamics on TerraSwap. So if a lot of people are providing liquidity, 
then I'm going to get a less amount of share from that pool and this will drop. If there's no trading activity, so the volume is low, then this, uh, this percentage will go down as well. A couple of th key things to note when uh, investing in these pools is that right now the minimum investment size is actually 2000 UST and Aperture takes a 10% cut from the profits. Those are the, the things that are not advertised really right now. You need a minimum of 2K UST to invest in these strategies and Aperture takes a 10% cut on top of the profits. I haven't actually been able to test this uh, strategy yet because I'm always getting this error saying the delta neutral positions can only be opened during US market hours and I've been trying to deposit money during US market hours. So I'm gonna walk through the investment process and withdrawal process using the, uh, Aperture's Medium blog post. So to start investing, I just have to click into the strategy that I want to use and deposit my minimum of 2000 UST. So I type in the amount I want here and then click invest. The next window that uh, the UI will show is setting the collateral ratio. So here's the performance fee that I was talking about. Aperture will take 10% of the profits, not, the, not my initial principal, but the profits. And then here's a target collateral ratio slider that they'll ask me to input. The default here right now, I, I guess it's 270%, but on mirror, the default is 200%. And if you want to be a little bit safer with your position, you want to increase that. So the more that I increase this collateral ratio, the more collateral I'll need to borrow the same amount of shares. Or you can look at it for the same amount of collateral that I'm depositing. The, the higher this percentage, the less I'm able to borrow. And here's a note that tells how safe essentially I am with the collateral ratio that I've specified here. The price of MApple has to increase by 80% for me to get flagged for liquidation. So if I don't think that's likely, or if I want to even be a little bit more risky, then I can do that by changing this collateral ratio. Now, keep in mind that the controller of Aperture Finance will rebalance my position to the target collateral ratio that I have specified. So as I'm sliding this up and down, the more risky I get, the higher my returns from the strategy, and the, the less risky I am sliding this to the right, then the less APR I will be getting from this strategy. So after setting that, and clicking the invest button, I'm assuming this would be invest, Terra Station Wallet will pop up to confirm my transaction. I'll just type in my password, click post. And then once that's done, I'll receive a check mark and the position will show up in my portfolio. Here I can see a quick snapshot of what my historical return is. So that means when I, from when I started it to what it currently is at, it'll tell me the return on that on my entire portfolio. So if I only have one position there, then it will just show the return on that one position. Clicking in the portfolio though, it'll show all the uh, the strategy that I've invested in and it will show what my current value in that strategy is, what my original principal was and the return and gives me the option to invest more or to withdraw my entire position. In order to withdraw, I will click on the position that I want to withdraw from and click this withdraw button. I apologize for the blurriness. And then as I withdraw, for now, I have to withdraw the entire position. Since I've deposited UST, once I withdraw, I get everything back in UST as well. That's the nice part of these, these strategies is that I input UST and get back UST. I don't have to do any other conversion. So that's it on investing on the Delta New strategies on Aperture Finance. Uh, there are some risks to this. Uh, one of them is obviously a liquidation, even though there's liquidation protection, but there's also the smart contract risks of all the protocols that are involved in this process. So that would be Anchor, Mirror, Spectrum, Aperture itself also has um, smart contract risks. So just be aware of that. Let me know if you're going to invest in Aperture Finance in the comments below. If you want to learn more about Delta Neutral Strategies, please watch my previous video that dives deep into how these strategies work. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. As always, stay safe, stay safe, and thanks for watching.